Hello there Star Wars fans and welcome back to another rebelscum.com video review and today we're reviewing the Black Series Phase 4 A New Hope Cantina Band characters. Uh, I just wanted to, I, I figured we'd just go ahead and do um, both in one rather than, alright we're reviewing Figrindan and then later on we'll do Nalan. Um, I figured it made more sense just to do both in the same video since they are the same figure. It's just the accessories that are different here because, well, Biff look very similar and not only that, but they wore uniforms in the modal nodes. They, they were a uniform band. So there you go. So, uh, yeah, the, the Cantina band, the modal nodes, they're pretty awesome, awesome band. Um, now, I know the question is going to come up. How many do I need to get to get a full band? That's entirely up to you. Minimum five, but probably no more than seven. Um, it just depends on the roster you want to have. But the the band typically has no less than five members. I want to say in A New Hope there were five, maybe six. Um and then, of course, if you want to get started on your Max Rebo band, well, you need at least one for your Barkwind Dan, who is part of the Max Rebo band, and it's the same costume design. So there you go. If you need one for your um, Jabba's Palace diorama that you might be working on, then you need at least one of these guys as Barkwind Dan. But minimum, you need minimum you need five. And I would say the most... affordable way to do that is to get four of these and one of the deluxes. Uh, again, you really don't need to, to buy several of this guy just to get all the band members because you get pretty much all the instruments you need between the two of them. So really all you need is at least five figures for you to put together a full band. Um, so we're going to start off with Figrin here. He looks pretty awesome. Got that side panel artwork. And this is number four and five. So these two do specifically line up to each other. You can see that. And, and the artwork looks awesome. And featured in that side panel artwork, there's only five members, by the way. And there's, there's quite quite a bit of member members in the band. I'm, I'm definitely going to get, I'm thinking just five for me. Um, I'll probably end up getting three more of, of Figrin here pretty soon. So Figrin comes with all the wind instruments. And he looks awesome. I, I'm so glad we're finally getting the, the Cantina band in Black Series. This is a figure I've looked forward to for a while. Honestly, though, I think it would be really cool down the line if Hasbro does a five-figure box set, much like they've done in the past. Um, around 30th anniversary, they did, they did a 10-pack box set that had five of the Cantina band members, the main five. Um, during also 30th anniversary at Star Wars Weekend at Disney Parks, they did an exclusive carded uh, release of all five figures, single release, so you had to collect all five at the parks to get a full set. Of course, there was the Kenner mail away way back when. But, and, and then also we're getting VC figures here pretty soon as well. But here he is, he looks really good. Awesome, awesome head sculpt. They really, I think, got that Biff design very, very well. Head is on a ball joint, and that neck is also on a ball joint. Fully articulated shoulders, single jointed elbows, wrist joints, upper waist, hips, upper thigh, single jointed knees, ankle joints, and yep, yeah, and right at the boot as well. You got a, got a little, little joint right there in the middle of the shin. 
we've got again all of the wind instruments so here's the three wind instruments that come with figrin here i like i like the little little brass strip all the way down the side there we've got this one i really like this one this one reminds me more of a saxophone or a bass clarinet. Oh, this comes apart. How about that? You can even deconstruct your instruments like a real band player would. Oh, and that comes off too. The mouthpiece on that one comes off. Nice. That's that's a nice little detail there, Hasbro. That's really cool. And then of course here is the last and the smallest of the wind instruments that they play. And yep. Yeah. Mouthpiece comes off on that one also. Very nice. I dig that. That's really cool. Now, of course, the one I believe we see figure in play in the film is this one. So. Let's go ahead. Let's get that in his in his hand and you can get the the mouthpieces to actually plug into their mouths as it's supposed to so it's just luckily it's like a soft rubbery plastic on these accessories so it's not too terribly difficult to get it positioned like you would need it to there we go yeah that's awesome and then, of course, I mean, you can get them to hold and put any of the mouthpieces in his mouth while you while you have them using it. So there is Figrin. And now for Nalin. So here he is. Again, awesome, awesome packaging. And they even gave them their own little bios. They didn't just go generic with the bios. They actually gave specific bios for both Figrin and Nalin, which that's pretty cool. And Nalin comes with all of the other band instruments and all of the swappable hands you need for all of the different Cantina band members that you're gonna need. So here is Nalin. And from what I can see, yep, exactly the same figure. Just different hands and more of the instruments, which not a big deal. This is something we saw coming. It's not like Hasbro got cheap with it either. That's how the Cantina band is. They all look very, very similar to each other. So it's, it's not so out there to see them release like this. I mean, Hasbro, Hasbro did it right. So here's all the different little instruments. We've got this little foot pedal instrument where they tap on this as some kind of percussion like instrument. You got the little, little stool there for the band member to sit down. You've got this kind of percussion like instrument, which I think this is the one that you need the mallets for, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. So Here's the little, little mallets you need for this one. It's almost kind of like a, maybe like some kind of electric xylophone like instrument. Pretty cool. And then uh, there is actually one more wind like instrument. It's kind of like a wind um, accordion, maybe like, uh, or maybe like a, almost like a wind or electronic horn bagpipe like hybrid. Got little horns here to the side, a horn there on the front big canister on here and and you can put that on any of them of course you can put that over the head put the mouthpiece in have them hold it like they're supposed to hold it but Nalin oh actually no Nalin uses this one and it it looks pretty good now again so that you have your other band members you can have just about anybody. And 
and you can have them all set up on their various instruments. I like I like the one with the seat. I think I think that's really cool. I dig this. This is an awesome set. I really can't wait to to put the full set together. So stay tuned, guys. Whenever I get around to putting the full set together, we'll put it on the uh, rebelscum.com social media. So make sure you're following us on social media so you don't miss some really cool post review videos. I don't know if I'll have a full set by the time this video goes, but if I do, well then you can expect to see the full band at that point. And if not, then just stay tuned for more. Um, and before I forget, the last feature on these is the swappable hands. They just pop on on a ball joint. So you can just swap those out for your needs of posing them with whichever instrument you are going to pose them with. So for example, you can put the mallets in this, these hands like so. And there you go. Now he's playing that instrument instead. Really, really awesome set of figures. Again, um, I, I like that rather than do one big deluxe, they with all of the instruments, they did a smaller release with a few and a big deluxe with all of them. And the reason that's nicer is so we're not paying that deluxe price for five or more figures for those of us who are going to have to, in a sense, army build these guys so we can build our full band. Um, it, it is kind of nice that Hasbro kind of took that into account because they knew they know um, that we were going to want to buy multiples of these to fill out that band. And in doing so, I feel like they saved us a little bit here by splitting up the accessories between two figure releases and making it a little bit more cost effective for us rather than um, release all of the accessories with one and then we're paying that price point five times whereas we get to pay the smaller price point you know four times or more depending on how many you're gonna get I, I think that was a nice little bit of consideration on their part and deserves recognition so guys make sure you pick these up if you haven't already for your black series collection i want to see your cantina dioramas because there's a lot of cantina characters now i mean we've got Dr. Evazon, we've got Ponda Baba, we've got Luke, we've got Han, we've got Chewie, we've got Greedo, we've got uh, R2, 3PO. I mean, they weren't into Cantina very long, but hey, we've got those characters too. And hopefully there's more awesome characters from the Cantina coming in the Black Series at some point as well. Um, Moba Nadon would be cool. Um, Hem Dazon, Ellis Helrot, Boshek. Boshek would be cool. Um, Wooer, the bartender, we need the bartender. Um, I, I would also like an actual full on cantina bar. I mean, I know we got a section of it in the, uh, power of the force homage piece from PulseCon last year, but like an actual big box set full on cantina bar, I think would be really, really cool. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments, let us know in the forums. Stay tuned for more Black Series reviews. Stay tuned for more rebelscum.com content. We do something new every single day on rebelscum.com. And make sure you like and subscribe. Follow us on social media like I mentioned earlier. Then go to rebelscumshop.com for all kinds of awesome swag and merch like the rebelscum.com shirt I'm wearing today. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. May the force be with all of you, you rebel scum. <laughs>